Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, March 31st. This might be the longest 31-day month that we've ever experienced. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to be sad when March is over, but we have April and we have Pesach coming up and we have lots of uh, great things. Um, I think it would be easier maybe if the, if the weather was nicer, but uh, God willing, we will get there. We will get there too. Uh, just a reminder that uh, we have our women's cheer at 1030. We have Erica Brown both today and Thursday at 3 o'clock sharing with us some uh, Pesach insights. And tonight, of course, the men's Seder, the men's club annual Seder will be held online in the Zoom. Um, I have a little secret to tell you that Zoom does not discriminate, so if there's anybody who's not in the meds club that wants to get on the meds seder, I don't think they'll kick you out. Uh, so we want to have as many people as possible. It's a nice, uh, nice gathering for us. And again, thank you for all who have been sending in your sale of chametz forms. I have been receiving them and uh, taking care of it for you. And then, again, please do so. Obviously, we have uh, a few more days, but let's uh, let's get them in certainly by Monday. And uh, I will take care of that accordingly. And again, any questions that you might have with Pesach preparation, uh, please feel free to reach out uh, in any manner. Um, I've been thinking a lot, of course, about people who can't say Kaddish. I had a very vivid dream the other night, and I don't usually have vivid dreams. And um, I woke, I, I, in my dream, we were having a shear. And at the end of the shear, I realized that we had a minion, and I was able to say one of my favorite phrases, Rechanayi bin Yikash Amr, et cetera, et cetera. And I said, oh my gosh, we could say Kaddish Drabanan again. And I was crying in my dream because I was so happy that we could finally say Kaddish again. And that's what this world has come to, is that where we're dreaming about saying Kaddish. So I want to share with you uh, this story, which appears again in the, in the Haggadah that I showed you yesterday from Rabbi Goldschreider, um, The Night That Unites. Um, this is a, a, a Shlomo Karbach story. Now, whatever you want to think about Shlomo Karbach, a Karbach story is a Karbach story, just like a Karbach Nigan is a Karbach Nigan. And I think it's a, a beautiful story, and I want to share it to, with you. I want to bless you that you should have the privilege to give over your Yiddishkeit to the next generation. Don't forget those that came before you. It was the end of the Yom Kippur War, and I went with my chevra and my most special friends to the Kotel. You could just hear Rabbi Shalom the way he would say, my most special friends. So I went to the Kotel in a Western Wall on a Friday night. That Friday night, I saw a soldier standing off to the side. When the soldier saw me, he said to me, I've been waiting for you. I want, to go, I want you to go with me to the Holy Wall. And this is the story that he shared with me. He said, my father passed away a few weeks before the Yom Kippur War, and I've been saying Kaddish for my father every day. It was on Yom Kippur that I was drafted to go to the war. My first thought was that I would run down to the Holy Wall one last time to say Kaddish for my father. Standing at the Kotel, I wanted to put a note in the wall to write a prayer to God to guard me in battle. But it was Yom Kippur, so I couldn't write a note. I put my hand in the crevice between the stones of the Holy Wall, and I pulled out a piece of paper, held it in my hand, and I said, please God, master of the world, let this note be for me as a prayer that you shall let me survive the war. I was ready to place the note back in the wall, but right before placing it back inside, I opened up the note to see what was written. I opened a small folded piece of paper and I saw that it was written by my father. It was written on the day before my father passed on from this world. And on the paper it said, master of the world, I have a son in the army. Please protect my son. I took the piece of paper with me and held on to it throughout the war, and I promised that if I would live, I would bring it back to the Holy Wall. And here I am today. I don't want to put it back alone. Can you come with me to put the note back in the Holy Wall? When Rabbi Shlomo finished telling the story, he said, I always tell my chevra, my good friends, that there is a note that your Bubby and Zadie have left for you in the Holy Wall. Go to the wall. You should have the merit to find it. Um, I've always been very moved by this story. Um, whether or not it's true is irrelevant, but um, we're always about looking forward to things. We can look at our current situation and we could be mired in despair, or we could look forward to a time when, yes, indeed, we'll be able to go back to that wall. Uh, for those that were aspiring and hoping to go to Israel for Pesach, nobody's going to Israel for Pesach, which is just, it's devastating. But there will be a time when we can go. And there'll be a time when we could touch the stones of the wall and place notes in the wall and reconnect with our Bubby and Zadie in that fashion. So as we end this, what's been an awful month, 
awful month of March. Um, new beginnings, new mar new chagim that are coming. Um, let's make every effort to make the most and to see the hope and to see that indeed Hashem is guiding us. We may not always see His hand directly, but Hashem is guiding us and will see us through this. And again, I remind everyone to please, please do your best to stay healthy, stay well, and we will all come through this together. Have a wonderful day.